Hello, Parrot Bliss. What would be the pros and cons if you're adding a parrot to adding a kayak or an Amazon? In this video, <laughs> I just saw Milo, my Indian ringneck, flying over, but she changed her mind. In this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons. have this blissful, wonderful relationship with your parrot for two reasons. Number one, um, having a wonderful relationship with any creature is one of the most magical things, I think, in life. Number two, the more you don't have a parrot that bites or the more you have a parrot that you love and that loves you, the more you are going to have a vested interest in taking care of your parrot and really making sure that they are as happy and healthy as possible. And so that's a part of what I'm after, helping you and your parrot have just the best experience. So, what are kayaks like? <laughs> what are the pros and cons of kayaks? Kayaks are whimsical, 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 aren't ya? Although Nikki here, you can see she's a little more, being a little more mellow. Ketsy, and female and male, Ketsy is a goofball and just a lover. Um, kayaks, they're, they're funny. They like to play at the bottom of the cage. They like to surf at the bottom of the cage. And I think what people mean by that is they get on their backs like he is now. And they push themselves along like a Zamboni on the ice. I mean, it's a crack up. They are a crack up. I do not spend a ton of time with my kites, which is like the number one ingredient in my book, <laughs> in my perception of how to really have a good bond with your parrot. Um, but that's because I want them to bond and I want them to make me kite babies. Don't know if that'll happen or not. We'll see. But um, even though I don't spend a ton of time with them, we have four kites and they all like are so people oriented. I've heard that kites aren't necessarily like that, but my experience has always been that kites are. So I don't know, you know, I can't give you an official word there. I can give you my experience and my experience is that if you want a best buddy, and I think one that'll get along with the whole family, um, and one that is a monkey, just a playful monkey, that was my Indian ringneck, she's like, what's going on? Then a kayak may be the right bird for you. Amazons are loud, right? They're loud. They are not as loud as cockatoos, but I'm trying to think about whether Conyers are louder or Amazons. Um, and I guess it depends, you know, there's a lot of different Conyers. Amazons are notorious for being loud twice a day. It is said that they greet the day and then they say goodbye to the day. And sometimes you wonder. Not all Amazons are like that, but it is just normal for an Amazon to be like that. Kaiks are kind of loud too. So if you don't want a loud bird, I'm not sure either of them is the right bird. If you don't mind the noise, if you have like a nice space out back to put their cage out back for a while so that they get some rays and they won't annoy your neighbors if they're being loud, you know, that's awesome. That way they can, I don't know, kind of hopefully get it out of their system. I don't know if it works that way. Look at him, he's back. Hi, sweetie. You're back on your back. Yes, hi, sweetie. See what I mean? They just, they just love being with us. They just love playing. They are just whimsical and friendly. Um, and I'm surprised she didn't fly off because something scared them. And come here, cats. Um, did, let's see. Any downsides to you, Nikki? I don't know if I can think of any. I would say the noise level. What do you think? They are full of zest and vinegar. I would say that if you have young children and you're comfortable that your young children aren't gonna get their fingers bitten, 
then they, they might be a really, really good bird because they're kind of fun and playful. Um, if you're a little worried that your finger, your you know, child's gonna put their finger in the kite's cage, you will get bitten. And you know, I mean like beaked is like, you know, just beaking. Bite is and then they turn into vampires and draw blood. Um, citizens or parrots have, as I understand it, the strongest beaks, period. The falcon family, and I don't know their name because I'm into citizens, you know, with them it's their talons. With these guys, it's their beaks. So you would really, like, if, if that's an issue, of course, the same is true of an Amazon. Um, you know, if that's an issue, I would be careful because these guys are kind of fearless. They don't flinch around any other bird. They don't flinch around the macaws. Uh, they don't flinch around the Amazons. They're just like, I'm here, deal with it. And by the way, I'm gonna have fun and I don't care if it's at your expense or not. I've never had a problem with them like getting into a fight and hurting another bird, but I also don't let them out with the other birds. If I put them outside or on a perch, I kind of watch and make sure that they either stay together on the perch. Hi, sweetie. Mm. Um, and that tick, 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 it, it means we want to be friends. Yes, we want to be friends. Oh, look at that. He found somebody else's food, huh? I um, constantly research food, and I do feel like kites have to be a little careful. I understand that maybe they can't have too much protein. I actually probably want to research them a little more, although I feed my flock that 70% pellet diet kind of thing, and then 30% is a fresh food mix, which has vegetables, a little bit, of maybe a, a rice or something. Um, I usually do something like carrots, squash, broccoli, um, green chili peppers, because that has something in it that's like antibacterial for them. Um, it has to be hot chili peppers, it can't be the sweet ones. Um, and what else do we give you guys? I always put spices on, like the oregano, or the um, uh, Italian mix. It's, I just kind of decorate their food with it. It's not their main vegetable by any means. It's, of course, dry, but it's an herb, and I don't see those come back to me. You know, I, I think they clean them out, and it, I don't consider it their vegetable. I just sprinkle it on there. So I, I give them a, as good of a diet as I can, and I haven't had issues that I know of with these two guys, or with these guys. But, um, I, you know, it's, I've seen online people say that, you know, their, their kikes, like, ran into problems, kidney problems, stuff like that. So I think you have to be careful. Um, and, you know, the funny thing about that, though, is saying you have to be careful with a parrot is, like, you have to be careful with your parrot. So these are two out of my three Amazons. Lorenza here is a yellow naped Amazon. There's her yellow nape. And Ursulus is a Mexican redheaded Amazon. What I love about Amazons is they seem interested in me. In other words, hi, Judy. Um, do you wanna go here? Oh, look. And back there is the Dean Ringnet, who, come here, come here. I'm sorry. I know, she's not nice to you, huh? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> these guys seem interested in me. They are also adventurous. They also want to go play with things. Um, right now, I think Lorenzo's unhappy that Ursulus is here. But um, they, they, even though they're adventurous and stuff like that, they're more interested in me. Kaiks, they're interested in, in you, but like they're so interested in adventure. So I kind of like feeling like, oh, nice wings. I kind of like feeling like, you know, it's more of a bond. Um, and I'm, that's probably not really true, but they, they definitely do seem more interested in me. Being <clears throat> a bigger bird, they are a little less active. And Amazons as a species are prone to problems with fat. So their diet needs to be a little more mindful, if you will. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Ursulus. The 
Amazons, of course, will talk whenever they feel like it. Hi, Ursula. Can you say hi, Ursula? Uh, say hi. Ursula, say hi. Hi, Ursula. When he starts talking, he talks up a storm. When she talks, she does things like she tells me that she wants some of what I'm eating. Um, and of course, you know, like we said, the kite, they'll talk a little bit, but they aren't real talkers. Amazons are known for talking, singing. Um, Ursula is learning a lot of things. <gasps> Pretty wings. Hi, Ursula. He'll say, hi, Ursula. He'll say, how are you doing? He'll say, come here. Right? And then he says, good boy. And I'll, I've got some footage of that, so I'll put that on here too. Um, so, you know, the downside might be that their beak's a little bigger, but I think the kite's beak is sharper. And, you know, as far as that goes, I thought kites were a, like smaller, and, and they are, but now, while they're not the same size birds, the Amazons aren't like so much bigger that the beak is so much bigger and scarier or anything like that. So, on the contrary, I feel like <clears throat> Amazons are, um, in a way, very easy to get along with, as are kites. And so, you know, clearly I, I would choose both. It's not a matter of who would you choose kind of thing. Um, they're both fantastic. Any downsides to you? The diet. Anything else? Oh, are you going to fly off? Are you going to fly somewhere? I personally find Amazons to be really wonderful. I'm surprised that you don't see more of them. Cause I feel like you don't, I don't know. Maybe a lot of people have them and I don't know. I just don't feel like I see that a whole lot. Um, but you know, they're, they're just both, both Tice and Amazons are, are very awesome. So maybe it depends on the energy level. Actually, one downside is Lorenza here is a one-person bird. That means that she wants to be with me and no one else is really allowed to be around very much, very close. She doesn't want other birds around. She doesn't make other friends. And, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm holding another bird or anything like that. But she's definitely kind of protective and stuff like that. And she will sometimes bite me if my daughter gets too close because she gets jealous of my daughter. And that can be a problem. So if you're looking for a family bird, <laughs> Ursula's here would be a great family bird. She likes everybody, but Lorenza would not be. I think Kai tend to, generally speaking, probably make a better family bird than an Amazon. So if I was choosing between an Amazon and a Kai, I would choose an Amazon because the Amazon would um, keep me company even after my kids grow up kind of thing. And I do feel like their pace is a little slower. And like I said, like I feel like they're more interested in me. My daughter says she would choose a Kai. So maybe part of your choice um, can take some of those factors into, a, um, into account. Um, Kites, you know, they stand up to any bird, although the Amazons do too. They stand up to the macaws. But, um, you know, I, if you want your bird to get along with other birds, I'm not sure either of them really do. Like, neither neither my Amazons or my kites make friends with the macaws. The macaws are like, I'm big and bad, so <laughs> even more than the kites. So I hope that really helps you get a sense of um, some of what an Amazon's like versus a kite, some of the energy sort of difference, some of the, they both, you know, parrots just have special diets, so some of the special diet differences, but the speech differences, um, sort of their focus, where, where they, you know, kites wanting adventure, Amazons being a little more interested in people. And one of my favorite things is when he purrs, he'll go brrrr. Did you hear that? I got him to do it. Yay!